Albuquerque's red light cameras have been off for a couple of days now, and police think drivers are already taking advantage of it. News 13's Nancy Laughlin is live at Coors and Montano with how cops know that. Nancy? Diane, that's right. This used to be one of the intersections that had that red light camera, but last year the state ordered APD to turn them off. So did it change any driving habits? You better believe it. Even the APD officers I spoke with say they were blown away by what they learned. The speeders and all that, it's like... It's horrible. This week, the city's red light contract ran out, so the cameras that once busted people running lights went dark. These cameras may be off, but ours wasn't. In a matter of minutes, we saw car after car after car gunning it through intersections. When people know that they're out, they still think they could get away with it. And Vanessa Lovato is right. A year ago, the state ordered APD to turn off cameras at three intersections on state roads, saying there's no proof cameras made roads safer. And the five months that followed, the cameras were off, but sensors embedded in the roads weren't. So APD was collecting information. They could still figure out how many people were speeding and running lights, and what they found blew them away. As we were collecting over several months, they kept jumping higher and higher and higher up to 584 percent. Yep, you heard right. When the cameras were turned off at Paseo and Jefferson, Paseo and Coors, and Coors and Montano, the number of people speeding and running lights went up. Almost 600 percent. With the remaining lights shut off at 14 intersections this week, APD says it's too early to collect information to see how many drivers are taking advantage this time around. We're not asking them to do anything they shouldn't be doing anyway, and that's just follow the law. Okay, the cameras at the three intersections that I mentioned, those are off for good. But on June 6th, the city council is going to vote to see if they want to approve a new contract with the company that operates the cameras to see if the deal is not a money loser. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Nancy. Now, one city councilor is pushing to have the future of red light cameras put on the ballot in October so voters could decide whether to keep them.